Hello everyone, welcome to another App Builder certification question. This is the latest question which I uh, recently collected from many of my sources. So I'll be sharing with you guys all these questions with explanation. And also, like I have a free giveaway, giveaway in this video. So if you want to know, like I know all the actual questions which have appeared in this uh, summer 2020. So I would like to give away that. So do watch this video till the end. I'll let you know how you can, you know, claim your copy of that. So let's get started. So the first question. So the marketing team at Universal Container has a list of 400 leads that would like to upload to Salesforce. They need to avoid duplicates and how this can be accomplished. So the first option is upload the lead list using the import wizard and select the matching type to prevent the duplicate lead creation. Yes, this is the right answer and uh, next one is enable duplicate matching in the data management section of the setup and activate the lead to lead scenario i think these two are independent thing i don't think this will work enabling duplicate matching rule and also lead to lead scenario i think one of them is fine so that's why the b is not the right answer and the c use the data loaders update function to import the leads and match the existing record based on the email address so we are not sure whether we have to match where email address in this one and it's also like in the data loader function so i'm not sure if this is right answer but i feel the next one d is the right answer again because we have to select the two options here create a lead matching rule and corresponding duplicate rule to block the newly created duplicate leads okay so let's see a and d is the right answer so let me go ahead and uh, check the application so this is the data import wizard so here you can launch a wizard and uh, you know you can select the lead and add and existing and select the csv and there you can mark match by lead here is the match by lead, whether by name email address or salesforce.com id so this is one of the options which is right and the other one is create a lead matching rule and the corresponding duplicate rule so if you go to quick find box and search for the duplicate rules or the matching rules Oops, sorry. so if you come down you have three duplicate rules and the matching rules so first you create the matching rule and then duplicate rule so here what you can do is in the duplicate and rule both are linked so it's based on the same object and you create the matching rule based on which you want to match the lead record and then in the duplicate rule you come and like say here is a sample one you can either block or allow and even on the edit also block or allow. so either you can just make it as an alert and report so that way you can avoid the duplicates so the next question correct answer is a and d and the next question is universal container manages internal projects by department using the custom object called project so only employees in the project respective department should have access to all the departments project records if an employee changes the job roles and moves on the department the employee should no longer have access to the project within the former department which two options will meet these requirements assuming the org wide default for the project is set to private so uh, this if it is set to private and obviously you are going to set a criteria based rule so all the options are the criteria based rules only so whether we'll check whether we can assign it to permission set roles or public groups or profiles so i'll show you how in the in the sharing rule itself like what are the options available so i would i'm straight away saying like you know the roles and public groups are the right answer but let me go to sharing setting here so i have come to the sharing setter you can find in the quick find box sharing setting here and if you come here this lead it has a public read write but uh, you know i'll show you how you can create the sharing rules because in the question it says to you know whom we can share so label and rule name we can give and here when you see this section select the users to share with so here you can see the option like you have only public group roles and roles and subordinates so there is no permission set or profile so you can only share it with this group so the correct answer here is c b and c public <clears throat> grant access to users by roles and the public groups so b and c is the right answer for this moving on so the sales representative want to capture the custom feedback record details 
related to each account the sales rep wants to accomplish this with minimal clicks on the salesperson mobile application so in order to do this like these are the options so create a predefined value for most of the fields yes possible and create a global action on the account no i don't think and create a feedback object as a parent of account this is not possible because account is a standard object and create an object specific action on the account yes so i feel the correct answer is a and d i'll show you like uh, you know the predefined values can be created and i'll show you how object specific action like uh, with minimal clicks if i go to the application this is the account object and here i am button links in the action so if you click create a new action so you get options to whether create a record send an email log a call like with a button you can configure this action button and then you know uh, with minimal clicks you can give your user uh, whatever he wants with minimal clicks so I would say the correct answer is A and D and next one universal container conducts evaluation of the sales of using the custom object consisting of the numerical scores and executive comments the company wants to ensure that only sales rep should not be able to view the executive comments field and their review. So what are the options? Use the private sharing model granting record access using custom settings. No, I don't think there is a custom settings comes into this kind of scenario. So this is not the right answer. And use private sharing model granting record access using hierarchy and manage the field access using field level security. Yes, because the executive comment field should not be visible to the sales rep and using hierarchy access you give the record access and manage the field access using field level security and next one is use private sharing model granting record access using custom settings again not this is not the right answer uh, the custom setting you cannot use so use the private sharing model granting record access using hierarchy manage field access with record types and field level security so i don't think even you have to use record type because that again becomes an entire different record here they want in the same record they just don't want to see the executive comment so the correct answer is b so b is the right answer for this one next question is what is the key consideration when using the unmanaged package so two answers namespace a and C is the correct answer which is namespace is not required to create an unmanaged package and a person who created unmanaged package has no control over installed components so which is true so these two are the correct answers so let's go ahead and see uh, here I just marked it here you can see if an unmanaged package <coughs> installation in an org has no namespace means it's not required then unmanaged package components have no na uh, namespace in the subscriber or so wherever you installed it might not have you know namespace so the namespace is not required for the unmanaged package and the c person who created unmanaged package has no control over installed components that's true he just creates in his org and once that is installed to our org he will not have any control over that so the next question is what is true about external fields this is pretty straightforward the field can be unique based on the case sensitive or case insensitive values need not be true the field must contain at least one number and at least one letter not true the field must be unique since duplicates are not allowed within salesforce yes this is true uh, the id fields are not duplicates because this is an external id this applies to this also so and the field that contains unique record identifier from outside a salesforce that is also true as the name itself suggests so here you can see the action id field may be used to re reference an id from another external system and a unique id it has to be unique which uh, to be loaded in the salesforce so the next question is in the production how it includes custom objects containing confidential information a sandbox is needed that includes data records excludes all the confidential objects and can be refreshed weekly so what steps should an app builder take so first option is create a full sandbox and use the sandbox template this is true and uh, the rest of the things you know without uh, like create a partial copy sandbox and use sandbox template it's not like you know that is also true but the most relevant uh, 
thing is like create a full sandbox i think you can only use sandbox template for the full copy sandbox so if you have license for the full copy sandbox then you can do it not for the partial copy so let me show you here so here in the full copy sandbox as highlighted here we recommend that you apply sandbox templates so that your sandbox contains only records that you need for testing and other tasks so in this full copy sandbox template you have a control to filter out the records which you need and which you don't so the full copy sandbox applies so in the partial copy i don't think there is any mention of the templates that you can use so the correct answer is the full copy create a full copy sandbox and use the sandbox template okay moving on which three statements are true but must it a relationship i think this is a very uh, repetitive question so you can answer this straight away i believe so the correct answer is a c e deleting a master record in the master tell relationship deletes all the records in the detailed records and master detailed relationship cannot be converted into lookup relationship and e master tell relationship can convert to a lookup relationship if no roll up summary fields exist on the master object okay so uh, if you look at other answer b the standard object can be on the detail side which is not true and the master detail relationship cannot be created if custom object is on the detail side which is also not true so the correct answer is a c e next one representatives at universal containers use salesforce to record information for leads when new prospects are added an outbound message is sent to sap leads so this is also pretty straightforward and you know what to use so that is the workflow to send an outbound message because in the process lighting process builder or in the visual workflow or in the approval process uh, i don't think you can use outbound it's maybe possible in the visual workflow but again you have to use apex and you know it's a long route but the correct straightforward answer is b create a workflow rule with an outbound message as an action so the correct answer is b so the next question universal container sell three different types of organization sells to three different things they have three different types of organization partner enterprise small business and some of the information collected about each organization overlaps okay however there are there are also unique attributes to each type of organization that need to be tracked which are some of which are required what solution meets this requirement so let me straight away go to the answer which is b three account record types for each partner enterprise and small business each with its own page layout yes if you have a three different uh, record type you can easily create three different page layout and to display the relevant fields for the type of the organization because it has unique attributes to each type of the organization so the correct relevant answer is b before i close i want to tell you about the giveaway which i was talking in the beginning of this video i have the questions which appeared recently i got it from one of my friend so i i want to share it with you guys so that it will be helpful in your exams for whatever preparation you have done so far so just click the subscribe and the bell notification and just send me the screenshot to salesforcebaits@gmail.com i'll put the email in the description just send me that screenshot and in reply i'll send you those questions which i have got it from my friend so see you in the next video all the best bye bye